like your upper body movement is so good. And I, and I think the lower body stuff is good too, but I find like sometimes with your hitches that your your feet are ahead of the music a little. Like you're just anticipating just a little too much. Your body flight's not there. I mean, I think you have plenty of flight. It's just like your your feet are anticipating the, the next motion mm -hmm. a little. So maybe like a little more settle before you go and a little less up on your toes. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as it looked like you facially, like you're enjoying yourself, but it looked like your eyes were closed the whole time. Right. Like, I didn't see any whites of the eyes, no eye contact between you and your partner. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, the shy boy thing, well, like, it works, but you're like a man now. A man. Like, I'm 19 now, right? Yeah. You're no longer a junior. Baby's all grown up. Baby's all grown up. Baby's all grown up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, also in that same vein, I wanted to see a moment that was more about you. Yeah, right. I agree. You know, like something that spotlights something that you'd like to do well. Like if you want to do turns, like Benji, or like right, just something that, you know, I don't know if you've worked on your career wise, if that's something that you like, mm -hmm. or something like that, but or give yourself like a ride off of one of her like pivots or something like that. So yeah. Something a little more to show yourself off. Yeah. Tina. It was so strong in the beginning, and then we kind of lost it. You were working it so good in that opening. I was like, oh my god, if she keeps this going, like that's like really good progress moving into the future. It, it got a little wonky in like the dips and things um, in the second in the second half of the spotlight. You have to start stretching because those things are going to keep happening, and you want to be able to hold yourself up, and you want to physically prepared. So start start doing those squats and stretching and like opening up your hips a little more so that you don't need him for balance so much. You know what I mean? Okay, Rosemary? Me first, huh? Oh yeah. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna start with you also. I agree about the eye contact thing. I think um I noticed that there are definitely some places like we did two moments where you sort of charged us. Mm -hmm. But you charged us while looking at Tina's feet. Yeah. And so I'd, I'd love to see, like, you can trust that Tina's also going to charge it and, like, have that mutual audience moment versus, like, here is Tina doing the thing that I am actually doing also, but it's Tina doing it and that's important. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but otherwise, you're dope. Uh, Tina, I would love to see a little bit of a delay between your hips and your shoulders. Um, I notice sometimes you're moving your body as one full unit. Versus like reaching the back of your your like anchor spot with your shoulders and then allowing your hips to like settle and move all the way through. So it's kind of that stretch thing, but it's stretch within your own body. Um, so yeah, and Can also you show that really quickly. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so if I move my whole body as one entire unit, there's not a lot of like fluidity here. But if I let my shoulders reach the back first and I let my hips carry through, mm -hmm. it creates this amount of stretch and this like positioning in your body that really adds like this is going to make the ankle to the dance. It'll stabilize you more and it'll make your movement look more fluid and uh, sometimes you get to like sharp staccato movement, not on purpose, just because you do bounce off of things because you are moving as one unit. Um, so I think that would help with that too. Yeah. Well, that's what I got. Omar. Uh, Jaden, I'll start with you. Uh, I thought the way you uh, choreographed the dance was phenomenal. Like you were coming at the audience, also it was half time with the music, it was like just such a, those moments like that, even how you started the dance was like really powerful because we're gonna see West Coast scene throughout the dance, it's great if you start the dance with something that's atypical, something that is like, you were highlighting the follower. I thought it was really good. Um, and I understand why you don't look at your partner is because you have to like, you're choreographing the dance and you're so focused on that. But you're, to get to that next level, you do need to get that eye contact uh, under control. And your connection, you're doing what you have to do to get the follower to do what you want, mm -hmm. all right? Um, it's gonna look cleaner if you can calm it down. Uh, try to do it with less movement of the connection because it's going to just elevate your dance so much more. Right? Uh, Tina, uh, like Bella was saying, when you started the dance, you took the moments Jaden was giving you and you did it really well. 
Uh, so that's, I mean, that's your job as a follower. It's like, you are, you're the one that everyone wants to look at, right? Jaden was doing a good job of setting you up and you were taking those moments. Um, it was a little bit, uh, you, I think you weren't uh, coming up with things to do later in the dance. So just being consistent of like having something to do at, in those moments. Uh, and you were very patient at first. And that, that's what made those beginning moments look so good. So make sure that you are not trying to rush to keep up with the, the leader. You are the metronome. Okay. okay, so if you want to slow down in the dance, you, you uh, enforce that on the leader. Okay, so don't try to rush to keep up with the leader. Like, you go at your time. Nice. Nice little job, you too.